This year, your four exec officers were challenged to pick a charity that they wanted to raise money for and the student union to raise money for this year. During Freshers' Week, we had charity pots here in Luton and in Bedford so that the students could vote for which out of those four charities they wanted to raise money for. Anti-Slavery International was our winning charity and so that is who we are raising money for this year. This was Amanda's chosen charity, so Amanda, do you want to say a little bit about why you chose Anti-Slavery International? Yes. So, I think that Anti-Slavery International makes positive changes in the lives of individuals all over the world. Um, Bedfordshire is an area that is susceptible to human trafficking, forced labour, and people being um, forced to work. So, uh, I thought that it would be a great opportunity for the students at our university to raise money um, for a cause that affects people closer than they think. We wanted to talk to you guys about this today because today is the International Day for the Abolition of Slavery. This day focuses on eradicating contemporary forms of slavery such as human trafficking, sexual exploitation, child labour and many, many more. So Amanda, what is Anti-Slavery International? Anti-Slavery International was founded in 1839 and it's the world's oldest abolition movement. Um, they're human rights advocates and they believe that it's only fair that everyone should be able to make their own choices about their lives and how they live them. Um, while some may not be aware of how many individuals are still trapped in slavery, over 40 million people, including 29 million who are women and children, are still denied their fundamental freedoms. Modern slavery is a severe exploitation of other people for personal and commercial gain. When thinking of slavery, some may not be aware that it can take many shapes and forms. Although we may not realize it, modern slavery may often be found in international countries. However, there is still a large slave market in the UK as well. Individuals in modern slavery may be the ones building our devices, um, the people who make our clothes, or even the people that clean the places that we reside in. This year, Anti-Slavery International are recognizing 180 years of work towards the abolishment of slavery, and we had the opportunity to go to their annual conference in London this year. Um, we found out more about the kind of work that they've been doing over the last few years and how we can get involved. We've already started raising money for our rat charity. On the 26th of November, we held a Christmas fair here in Lucent and we had a stall where you had to pay to play. Donations were encouraged and you won prizes for taking part. We also have a Santa Dash this week, Thursday the 5th, in Bedford. RAG is a great way for us as a student union to raise money, but it is also a way that we encourage other students to get involved, get involved with the events that we're putting on, and also encourage you guys to get involved and run your own events to raise money for a great cause. We have a RAG page on our website that is free to join, and we put information on there. We also have our RAG chalkboard in the Metro, the student union, so you can see what events are going on and what things are happening. We just really encourage all students to get involved with RAG. I would just like to highlight how much we would love any and every student to get involved in our RAG. It is a great opportunity to develop yourself and do great things for a great cause. And, and it can be so, so much fun! fun.